It's 5.30 a.m. on Sunday morning. Not just any Sunday morning. The Sunday morning of your Ironman triathlon. And all of a sudden you feel that urge. And I'm not talking about the urge to get out there and race. I'm saying you've already had your coffee in the morning. Your stomach starts to rumble. You got to drop your deuce. Hi, I'm retired professional triathlete TJ Tollickson, CEO of Diamond Bikes, and today I am going to teach you how to poop during an Ironman. He called the <laughs> poop! <laughs> I think I could tell you how to poop on the bike, but if you're pooping on the bike, we have some other issues. So we're just going to talk about how to poop during an Ironman. So uh, we set the scene. You're there. You feel the poop. What do you gotta do? Well, we got a couple problems. One, you're guaranteed you're gonna have to poop before. Some people poop as many as three or more times the morning before their Ironman. It's a really good thing to have everything cleaned out before you start the race. Poop once, feel it come again, poop again. It's coming out of me like lava! I've seen it all in my career. Yes, I've seen pro triathletes out in the open water pull their shorts down and let it rip in the open water. Disgusting. Uh, let's say you don't have to do it in the water. Let's try to plan so we can avoid some of this stuff. What do we do? Rule number one, pack some wet wipes with you. Okay, so in your transition bag, pack some wet wipes. I don't care what it is, pack it in your bag. Why? You never know if there's going to be toilet paper in the porta potty before the race. So you can take care of that in advance. Avoid going in the water. Please avoid going in the water for all of us. Find some place. Go in the woods. A dumpster. They call it a dumpster for a reason, right? It's got a good point. Uh, find some place private that you can go and use this. You may need to use this trick. I've used it myself. Yes, I have dumped in a dumpster before an Ironman. I can't believe you. I cannot. You're dropping wolf bait and there are chicks outside. Uh, not my proudest moment, but hey, I'd rather dump before the race than during the race. So let's get into the mitigation aspects now. So if you know you've got a, a loose stomach, you're, you're a little queasy, you've had some problems in training, what can you do to prevent this? Well, step one, you can go to the drugstore and buy some Imodium AD. Imodium AD stands for anti-diarrheal. What Imodium AD does, it actually kicks up the churning function. So like you churn butter, it churns everything in your stomach so it stops it from processing to go through. So if you've had problems with this, Imodium AD can be a lifesaver. There are some concerns. Some people have some problems with uh, nutrition and calorie absorption, but I know many top level pro triathletes that take Imodium AD before big Ironman races and have spectacular results doing so. So that's tip number one. Tip number two, if you have problems with this, well, you might need to tighten your sphincter. Yes, you heard it, this is the truth. Your sphincter is a group of muscles just like your hamstrings, your quadriceps, your biceps. All right, so guess what? You can train your sphincter to hold in the poop. So you might ask, I know this sounds crazy, but you gotta remember that an ounce of prevention is worth a pound, or in this case, a load of cure. So what can you do to tighten that sphincter muscle? Well, this is for real. You're gonna do this. You're gonna bend your knees. You're gonna get in this shape right here. And I like to clench my fist because it just helps and you're gonna clench that face at the same time. But you're just gonna go like this. You're gonna clench your fist, clench your face. At the same time, you're gonna clench your sphincter, tighten it, bring it up as much as you can. So you just watch this exercise right here. You're just gonna go. You're gonna do it again. You're gonna repeat that five times. And you're gonna do that five times and I want you to do that three times in the day. I want you to do it once in the morning, once at noon, once at night. I guarantee you, you do this exercise three times a day for six weeks before the race and that will be so tight and puckered that uh, nothing's squeezing out there unless you want it to squeeze out there. Yes, that is for real. Get in, prehab your sphincter so you don't shit all over the place.
Fire in the hole! Tragedy can still strike, right? That sushi the night before turns out to be not such a great idea. Uh, and all of a sudden you're feeling it. I could tell you if you're gonna feel it, you're maybe gonna feel it during the swim, but once you get on the bike, you're probably gonna be pretty calm. Uh, make it through that bike. There's really a rare, rare instance where you would feel that on the bike and you would really need to pull over and stop. But I can tell you, if you're feeling it on the bike, you're gonna get off, you're gonna start running. Are you feeling it now, Mr. Krabs? Start shaking things up. And if you didn't take that Imodium AD, are you feeling it now, Mr. Krabs? Are you feeling it? It's not gonna keep churning, it's gonna wanna come out. So what do you have to do at that point? Well, tighten those sphincter muscles, see if you can make it all the way through to the finish line. If you have to stop, you gotta remember, there are porta potties on the course. So if you can make it to a porta potty, you can jump in and jump out. I've done this many times. It takes a maximum of 12 seconds if you're well prepared. If you're not well prepared, it could take a couple minutes, but prepare for this, right? Think about this. If you're ever out on a long run and you gotta do this, that's the time to practice. Get out there. We're really fortunate here in Iowa. You can go on a run right through the middle of the cornfields. You can ditch in and they have built in toilet paper in the cornfields. They're a little scratchy, but hey, you know, it beats running home with only one sock. So you're out there in your Ironman, you got 12 second stop, go for it. But look, I lost an Ironman by 17 seconds, right? So if you don't have that 12 seconds to spare, that's when you're gonna go for it. You're, you're gonna go for it. You're gonna rely on that training. You're gonna, you're gonna clench those sphincter muscles and you're gonna say, I'm gonna make it to the finish line. I'm just gonna keep tightening it the whole way. Oh, uh, where's the bathroom? Your run form may change slightly, but guess what? You don't have 12 seconds to spare. You're gonna go in there, pucker up as tight and mean as you can get. Well, if it doesn't work, and you absolutely gotta get it out, and you don't have the 12 seconds to spare, that's when you gotta turn the fart into a shart and just let it rip. <laughs> then the next aid station you get to, take the water, dump it down the shorts. Trust me, dump it down the shorts, front and back. Dump it down the shorts, on the back, get it off your legs, clean everything off as best you can while still moving. Keep running, don't stop. Remember, you made the choice, you didn't have 12 seconds to spare, you don't have the time, you're in the race of your life, you're gonna qualify for Kona, you're gonna finally beat the 88-year-old woman that you've never beat down the block before, let it go, let it go. Well, you're really doing it, aren't you? in the street. You get to the finish line. Here you go. Boom. Cross the finish line. The first thing you're looking for is either one of those silver blankets or a finish line towel. That's going to go around your waist right away. Um, cover up obviously the muddy river down the backside as much as you can. By this point, it's definitely in your shoes too. I've got some great photos I can share of, of people doing this. Um, guaranteed your new nickname is going to be the crap star. The last thing to do is quickly, and I mean quickly, get to a shower as soon as possible. Get into some clean, good smelling clothes, enjoy the race. Remember, pooping yourself is one small moment in time, but the glory of being an Iron Man will live with you forever. I'm TJ Tollickson, and that's how you poop during an Iron Man. Pretty happy to speak to you.